What is an EDF? Advantages of EDFs? Quick explanation of unit trusts versus EDFs versus stocks. Unique usage of EDFs. What strategies work in EDF investing? Where and how to buy EDFs from Malaysia? Why don't I use an EDF? These are the content of this video. What is an EDF? EDF, Exchange Traded Fund. Exchange refers to the stock exchange where the shares of public listed companies change hands. Traded means it is bought and sold like stocks. Fund means it works like unit trust funds or mutual funds. So literally, an EDF is a fund that you can trade like stocks on the stock market. Advantages of EDF An EDF has all the advantages of a unit trust fund and usually better. The benefits similar to unit trust funds are low initial capital, high liquidity, diversified portfolio, professionally managed. Although an ETF works very similar to unit trust funds and investment linked funds, it is more cost effective because there's no commission to pay the marketing agents. Moreover, the ETF recurring management fees is lower because the fund is passively managed to track a certain index or asset class. Unitrust funds versus ETF versus stocks. You can see Unitrust funds and ETF, they consist of a basket of assets. So it's more diversified. Meanwhile, stocks is very concentrated on one particular company. And uh, Unitrust fund, you can only redeem at the end of the trading day. But for ETFs and stocks, you can trade it uh, during regular hours. And for Unitrust, uh, it has higher front load marketing fee. So these are the fees are paid to the agents who's, who sell the fund to you. And then ETFs and stocks is traded like stocks. So you just have to pay the brokerage fees. Uh, the transaction cost is kind of lower. And Unitrust fund is managed by Unitrust companies. And ETFs is uh, being created by the ETF sponsors. And stocks are mainly the public companies that list their shares on the stock market. And Unitrust fund, you have to pay 1.5% management fees, 1 to 1.5%. And for ETFs, it is kind of lower, 0.03% to 0.7% roughly there. And stocks, uh, there is actually no management fees for holding the stocks. Usage of ETFs. Passive investing in a broad market when you believe in the future growth of a specific market. You can save the hassle of individual stock picking. For example, S&P 500, Nasdaq 100, China Top 50, etc. And number two, you can gain fast exposure to specific sectors. For example, small cap, commodity, international, emerging market, biotechnology, REITs, uh, healthcare, technology, ESG, well, environmental, social, and governance. The other one is for hedging purposes and to lock your gain without selling your stocks. You can do this with the leverage ETFs and the inverse ETFs. Another usage is to get easier exposure to markets that are harder to reach. For example, South America, South Africa, and some other smaller countries. Okay, what strategies work in ETF investing? One, you can buy and hold for long-term investing. Two, you can do dollar cost averaging. Number three, you can build a portfolio and rebalance on your birthday. Another strategy is you have to pick reputable ETF sponsors that has lower expense ratio and high liquidity. Where to buy ETFs? First option, you can buy the local ETFs in Malaysia. There's a list of ETFs available on Busa Malaysia for Malaysians. Buying the local listed ETFs have some advantages. First, hassle-free, you can buy with any local trading account. And two, you have the Sharia compliant options. For our Muslim friends, there are several Islamic uh, ETFs for you to choose from. Number three, there's no estate tax issue. Malaysia has no estate tax as of now. Now there are disadvantages uh, buying the local ETFs. First is limited choices. Number two, you lack liquidity. It means when 
there's a wider bid ask spread of, of the buy sell price it will result in uh, you know, higher transaction costs for you. And usually the local ETFs has uh, higher management fees due to the smaller size. The reason is that the asset size is very much lower than the US listed ETFs. You'll be paying around 0.6% compared to some well-known foreign ETFs that have an uh, expense ratio as low as 0.03% due to the economies of scale. Other options is to buy the foreign ETFs. It is a good idea to invest with the big brand ETF sponsors like BlackRock and Vanguard. If you buy the international ETFs through the local brokers, it will be more expensive. Uh, but if you buy through the foreign brokers, it will be more hassles because you, have, you need to open a foreign trading account and uh, transfer money out of the country. But if you want to buy the overseas ETFs, uh, please go with the island domiciles ETF that is listed on London Stock Exchange for two important reasons. First, there is no estate tax. If you buy a US domicile ETF, there is an estate tax for amount over 60,000 US dollars, ranging from 18% to 40% tax rate. Uh, number two is the usual US dividend withholding tax, 30% is lowered to 15% if it is island domicile due to the tax treaty. Okay, why don't I use an ETF, right? Uh, it's a disclosure. I don't invest through an ETF. I rather pick individual stocks. Uh, first reason is there's no holding costs. I no need to pay any management fees. And number two, I got to choose the best of breed. When I was young, like uh, in my 20s, I loved buffets, you know, where I could sample all the food. Uh, I didn't know what was good, so I would try everything. But when I get older and more experienced, I no longer fancy a buffet anymore. I want a well-prepared dish rather than sampling everything. So it is the same with my investment portfolio. I started out with unit trust and even became an agent. Later, when I become a more experienced investor, I would like to directly own the shares of great companies and tag along with their growth and no longer invest through unit trust or ETFs. By the way, you can check out the link for the 90 minutes free training on how we pick stocks. I even reveal the exact formula in the training. Find the links at the description. Okay. Thanks for watching this uh, short video. Until this point, let's conclude the main takeaways in this video. Besides unit trust, you can build a diversified portfolio with ETFs that is more cost effective. If Sharia compliant is important to you, there are several Islamic ETFs listed in Busan, Malaysia. If you want to invest in foreign ETF, choose the Ireland domiciles ETFs listed on London Stock Exchange because of no estate tax and lower dividend withholding tax. I'm glad to have your attention until this point. You can take part in the Money Smart Book Contest. To participate, please post a comment telling us the best idea you learned from this video. I'll pick a lucky winner to receive my book, Money Smart. Don't miss the links I put up in the description. There's more free stuff waiting for you there. Be smarter with money.